Alrighty, we are 286 years in the future and things are a little bit different. Alrighty, we are 286 years in the future and things are a little bit different. Family of our immortal librarian has uh, continued on, but he himself has either departed this world one way or another. Um, but before we get into that, let's just do our normal progressions by starting with religion. Um, we started out having him uh, have as Muluari as his uh, faith, and it seems like it is stuck in certain areas that normally you don't see it but uh the areas that it was um that catholic zone have retaken it still reign supreme ashari orthodox mulwadi okay that's a pretty standard feel now um feels like the orthodox uh, once again uh the orthodox are being shunted out and i think the mongols uh somehow once once more have uh, converted Christianity. We're st starting to see a lot of the step uh, switched Catholicism, uh, which we I don't feel like we saw as much before. It used to be mostly Ashari um, that happened out here, but then there's some Orthodox Catholics. Yeah, it's a uh, Catholics are starting to seep deeper and deeper eastward uh, earlier on. Let's then go to culture. Uh, we use butter as our basic uh culture for everybody it looks like um he, he uh didn't really change a lot of it uh maybe he did back here uh changing a couple things here and there next let's look at our empire um uh, map mode because i wanted to talk about what i thought i saw happen during the uh time lapse which was the mongols grabbed a hold of whatever empire he was a part of at that point i don't know if they were in some sort of, um, uh, if they were part of Persia or some one of the ones out here. So that's why they were able to grab it. But now because of that, we have the Tukskul Khanate, like pocketing all of the world. Happy little accident. Maybe, maybe a happy blurst accident. Who knows? Um, but it seems to have allowed the our emperor to stay in power for a decent amount of times. Uh, let's see what happened to our great librarian himself. Um, it looks like he has unalived himself at the ripe old age of 290. They used to do this more often, but as time has gone on, I feel like the immortals don't do it as much, but maybe just with the new update, there's more likelihood of something of that uh, accord happening during their lifetimes. But while he was in power, it looked like he had consolidated a lot of power in um, the Middle East, or North Africa, I mean, and as well as the Middle East. Um, and then then unalived himself while under the controls of Mongols, it looks like, because he died in what year? He died in 1246. So yeah, the Mongols had just freshly conquered them, the HRE, really quickly. And I think, once again, I don't know what's going on, but there's this weird connection between the Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of France. I'm not sure why, but it looks like the Kingdom of France uh, was destroyed in 1164, and then this boy came along and conquered it. And I'm not sure if he just gained a lot of the titles, or if he just bought the right to it, or yeah, just conquered it enough whilst in control of this but France and Bohemia have this weird connection and we'll continue to keep an eye on it but it's like very strange also they run Poland but not actually Bohemia itself control W so court languages we've got French Arabic Berber Arabic uh, why is it Arabic is this a different Arabic hmm huh. maybe it's Berber 
Oh, it's just, oh, it just says Arabic over this part, but in reality, it's Berber. So what have we learned? Uh, I think the biggest thing that we learned was the fact that the Mongols, uh, I wasn't really expecting them to make the Tug school Khanate, um, but that's probably due to the fact that they had some tr uh, lands in Europe some of those sparing lands that was that was probably the biggest surprise the other surprise was that it seems like um holding on to this much land you can acquire a, a ton of gold um and it, i would love to have seen how much of this gold had uh come down from our immortal boy or if it had just been won over the time but it, this is a quite a bit of money uh to have as a character in this point um they're losing this war right now but to be honest, if they were smarter, they probably should just drop a pin right here and uh, hire a crap ton of mercs to merc these people up. Um, what else have we learned? Uh, the immortals are maybe a little bit more persnickety once again. They're unaliving themselves at points that I don't remember that happening. But, um, but yeah, I think it was a pretty fun time lapse as usual. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.